Hello class, for my final presentation, I read The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald and did my final research project on symbolism and the Gatsby delusion. So first I did some background research on the Roaring Twenties because The Great Gatsby was set in this decade. The 1920s was a decade of extravagance, huge parties, and the emergence of jazz music. The roles of women began to change in this decade. Some women known as flappers wore shorter skirts, cut their hair, and spent their free time partying and dancing. Gangsters, minting money, carefree attitudes, mass culture, consumption, and promiscuity were also defining aspects of the 20s. The 18th Amendment, known as Prohibition, banned the manufacture, transportation, and sale of liquor in the 1920s. But Prohibition was very ineffective and led to illegal bootlegging, which was the underground sale of liquor. The Roaring Twenties was also a time of great economic prosperity. The nation's total wealth more than doubled in this era, and the stock market was booming. Many Americans believed they could strike it rich on Wall Street or work their way up from rags to riches. Young Americans of this decade threw caution to the wind and believed that they could achieve the American dream. This generation was known as the Lost Generation. World War I had just ended in 1918, and the generation of Americans who had fought in the Great War were disillusioned and weary from experiencing the extreme death, destruction, and horror. Many young men and women felt as if they could no longer relate to traditional society. Expatriate writer Gertrude Stein named the generation who had returned from the war the Lost Generation. This title also became synonymous with a group of young American writers who became the voice of this generation. F. Scott Fitzgerald was one of these writers who acutely observed the mentality and dreams of his generation to influence his novel, The Great Gatsby. My research question was, what is the purpose of symbolism in The Great Gatsby? To answer that question, my thesis is, F. Scott Fitzgerald's Symbolism of Gatsby, The Unattainable Green Light, and the Insurmountable Barrier Between West and East Egg conveys the false reality of the American dream, creating unforgettable images which make The Great Gatsby not only one of the most significant novels of the 20th century, but one that defines both America and American literature on the world stage. The first symbol I researched is the symbol of Jay Gatsby himself, who personifies the rags to riches story of the American dream. Gatsby was born to a working class Midwestern family. As a young military officer in Louisville at the start of World War I, he falls in love with Daisy Buchanan, a debutante from an affluent upper class family. Gatsby lies about his lower class background and Daisy promises to marry him after the war. Instead, she marries Tom Buchanan, an aristocrat who promises the extravagance and ease of a wealthy lifestyle. Daisy is Gatsby's American dream. Gatsby amasses a huge fortune through bootlegging and organized crime. He spends his fortune on extravagant parties, liquor, and luxury with the sole motivation of winning back Daisy. But no matter how much money Gatsby makes, he never truly fulfills his American dream. The image of Gatsby is so pervasive in American culture that generic use of his name has become symbolic of style, extravagance, and swagger. The next symbol that Fitzgerald uses to convey the false reality of the American dream is the permanently lit green light at the end of Daisy's dock that Gatsby reaches for. The green light represents Gatsby's unattainable dream. Whether the cause is social immobility, unworthiness of pursuit, or economic reality, Gatsby fails to achieve his dream, and the green light remains forever out of reach. Later in the novel, Fitzgerald reveals that the green light is no longer a symbol exclusive to Gatsby. It is a symbol of a lost generation of Americans who reached ceaselessly for fulfillment in an economic system that was never designed to reward everyone equally. The final symbol I researched is the difference between East and West Egg. East Egg is home to the old money elite of Long Island, including Tom and Daisy Buchanan. West Egg, on the other hand, is home to Long Island's new money. It is known as the less fashionable of the two, as narrator Nick Carraway describes, and it is the home of Jay Gatsby. Even though the residents of West Egg are extremely wealthy, they do not share the same social status as those of East Egg. 
Gatsby attempts to win over Daisy by rising up from his poor background, but it is impossible. He will never equal Tom Buchanan's aristocracy. It is the great Gatsby delusion that Daisy will leave her social status for love. In The Great Gatsby, F. Scott Fitzgerald conveys the abject failure of the American dream through his portrayal of J. Gatsby and enduring symbolism. For Gatsby, the mutated version of the American dream will only ever be an intangible green light separated by an indiscernible barbed wire. His dream is inherently flawed because love and happiness are intangible and cannot be bought. A century later, The Great Gatsby and its message remain relevant. As recently as the 1990s, the Federal National Mortgage Association proposed that every American should have the opportunity to realize the American dream of home ownership. Unqualified Americans borrowed money and bought homes they could not afford, and the overinflated real estate market led to the 2008 stock market crash and the worst recession since the Great Depression. Today, we read The Great Gatsby in high school and study the corruption of the Roaring Twenties. In our striving for monetary prosperity, we lose sight of the intangibles that bring true fulfillment. We repeat the mistakes and perpetuate the false reality of the American dream. This is The Gatsby Delusion. Here is my work cited and thank you so much for watching.